Hello, my name's Eloisa. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this presentation. I've created a resource uh, based on the teachings of divine truth as taught by Jesus and Mary Magdalene, also known as AJ Miller and Mary Luck. This series of sessions, which I'm calling a unit just for ease of language, is a series of sessions based on basics of personal progression. And it's specifically in relationship to parents or parenting and families. This presentation is like a welcome and housekeeping. So it's just so that you get a bit of an overview of what's involved, because once I start hitting into the each session, I want to just go straight into the material and just discuss that. So today is just all the overviews and the preliminaries of what is involved in this unit. So you can kind of get a bit of an introduction. So I'd like to introduce myself. Um, my name's Eloisa Sparks and I uh, live in Australia in a little place called Wilkesdale, which is rural Australia. Uh, I have been listening to the teachings of divine truth for approximately 12 years and God's truth has completely changed my life. So um, my firstly, I'd just like to express my gratitude to Jesus and Mary for their abundant sharing of the divine truth material. And I know that there's so much more to go and I know that they really want to share a lot more than even on the internet. But if you're interested in the source of the information, which I base all of these presentations on, go to www.divinetruth.com and there are links there to get to the Divine Truth YouTube channels where you can see a whole heap of information. All the resources and the material that I put up on YouTube, I create for free. Anyone can use it and you're welcome to share it around. I do not receive, receive any monetary funds from YouTube or any of the like ads. I don't want ads on my channel. And YouTube now is actually beginning to put those on. So my apologies that you have to put up with those as they go through. At some point in the future, I'd just love it that you just got the material and there was no advertisements and no interference in what was going on. I do not monetize the material that I put out. I want every family in the whole world, if they were interested, to be able to access this material. So that's why I feel like it's very important for free. That's why I think it's very important to make it accessible to everybody. And also, I feel that God's truth is something that God would love every single person in the entire world and on the entire planet to know and understand. So I don't think that it's good to charge for that. I just feel so grateful to Jesus and Mary for their example in that as they produce all of the divine truth material completely for free. And anyone can watch that and look at it and pass it on and share it. And, and I feel that it's a life-changing information I know that from personal experience. And so in the same spirit, this is a resource that is uh, actually using the teachings of divine truth as well as giving you experiences from my own life. So I hope you enjoy the resource. The structure of this resource is six main presentations or sessions, and that complete makes one complete unit. So they are approximately an hour long, but each, uh, each session is like a bit of theory about a specific subject, which is in relation to making personal progression and change in your family dynamics in your life. And I've set it up so that it's hopefully something that you can just sit down for an hour. You can have a bit of a, a watch and a listen, and then there's practical things that you can immediately apply. So as soon as you finish the video or even during the video, you can actually apply what I'm saying practically to your situation and start to implement the theory that I am speaking about. So um, the, there's six sessions to begin with and seven including this introduction and housekeeping. And they uh, make up a unit. And that unit, as I just said before, I'm calling like it's the basics of personal progression or the basics of making positive change in your family. The first unit is called Snapshot and Self-Reflection. And that's about uh, measuring where you are at right now and then um, what is self-reflection and how to begin a process of doing that in, to make so, in order to make soul-based change. The second unit is about cause and effects. If you can find causes and work through them emotionally, then a whole lot of effects in your life will change. You do practical things and it doesn't just magically happen, but by the work you do, then a lot of things change once you're actually dealing with the real problem in your, in your family dynamic or just within yourself. This resource can be used by anybody. It's not just for parents, but the focus and the examples I'm going to use are going to relate specifically to parenting and also partner relationships. 
all of the information because it's based on principles and because it's based on, well, because it's go, uh, based on God's truth, it actually applies to everybody if you engage it sincerely. So whether you have children or you don't have children, whether you're a grandparent, whether you, uh, even a kid actually, you like a child, you can completely apply all of these principles and what I'm talking about to your own life and you will have, well, you will need to try it for yourself. But if you do engage it sincerely, and this is my experience, you'll have significant change, positive change in your life. Uh, that being said, we have, as I said, the first one, which is about snapshot and self-reflection. The second session will be about cause and effect. The third session um, I have called God's Way, A Loving Solution, and that's about uh, different ways that you can progress by engaging a relationship with God and developing that, which is the fast track. Or you can do it the natural love way, which is a lot about your own effort and rubbing up against God's laws. And that's a slower way because you have to do a lot of effort on your own without having someone, God, who can tell you a lot of things immediately. The uh, fourth session will be about parenting, God's definition and the world's definition and how the world has got it so wrong. And we will have a discussion about how the world has got parenting completely up the wazoo and that a lot of things that we're doing are actually damaging to children, not actually helping them to become self-responsible, um, autonomous, independent humans. And that's then having a on-flow effect into society. And there's a lot of problems collectively in the world right now, which I'm sure that you can identify with. And part of that stems back to the way we parent and not dealing with certain issues, so not dealing with some causes. And then that has an on-flow effect that it creates a lot of pain and suffering actually in relationships and particularly with families. And we'll just talk about the world's view of children and the world's view of parents. The fifth session is about interpersonal relationships. So that has a focus on particularly partner relationships or romantic relationships, but it also takes a look at family dynamics. And as I said, each of these are just like the tip of the iceberg. They're an introductory, it's an introductory unit, it's an introductory sessions that you can just start to to get an idea of some um, skills and tools and useful information that if implied sincerely to your everyday life and um, that it can make some positive change in your family dynamics. You see results very rapidly if you engage the experiment sincerely. Then we have the sixth th session and the sixth session is case studies. So that might be a series of presentations and all of that will be practically applying all of the first five sessions that we spoke about and you'll practically apply that information into actual real life examples. And those will either be uh, case studies from my own personal past or friends of mine who I know, or if you would like to have a discussion with me, I'm ha really happy to set that up and then apply the principles that are presented in this resource. Because feedback is one of the most important things to start to recognize and there's many forms of feedback that God's got in place so that we're continuously able to actually reflect and learn on what's going on in our lives. I'm developing and learning and growing as well so the this resource is what I have learned and the steps and principles and skills that I developed and the qualities that I developed um, and am continuing to develop but that are the first things that I did in order to begin to learn how to actually make real change in my life. And they have been such powerful, helpful tools and skills and principles that I just, I want to share them with all parents in the whole world. <laughs> um, why I say that is I have been able to feel just the, like really feel in my heart how much damage I have done actually. And seeing that what is my responsibility and that it's my responsibility to change that. When you continue acting in an unloving manner, you'll notice that I talk about loving and unloving a lot. The loving is about doing things from God's perspective that are loving or moral and right from God's perspective. And unloving is anything that's not right or moral or good or um, loving from God's perspective. So this resource is about learning about love uh, seeing where we're not loving and then making choices so that we can bring our lives into being loving. That's a personal choice that each of us have to make. 
I have seen the effects of when you do not do the loving thing and how painful that is. And some of these things as parents we're convinced are good. We think they are so right and that we're actually loving our children. And this is something we'll discuss in the presentations further along is our flawed definitions of love and how what we think and what we've been trained and brought up with and absorbed and just beliefs we have about what love is in the world and how actually it's, it's not. So this is a process of resensitization to your feelings and your emotions. And it's a process of growing and developing skills and understanding about how to make a real heartfelt change. Or it's what I also refer to as a soul-based emotional change. Because that is the only change that is actually real. If you take actions and physical actions, they're not going to stick unless you actually make the shift in your heart or soul. And those I'm using inter interchangeably. Um, but if you make a soul-based change, then actually your entire life changes. So that's just the introduction to this uh, package of presentations. Uh, that is the unit of the first introductory steps to making soul-based emotional or positive personal change. So the format of these presentations is, as I said, some video presentations. The skills and qualities to, that I'm speaking about to develop and the principles, they are a way to change your entire life. So for me now, this is a way of life. It's not just some things that I do occasionally. They're things that I live by. And by living by them, there's a lot of positive results in my life. So you are welcome to ask questions. I will answer them to the best of my uh, knowledge and capability. There's many, many things that I don't understand and I don't know. I am in the process of my own personal development as well. So as I grow and learn, then I understand more things. So then I can share more things. There are things now that over time, they will probably change. Uh, there's other things that I know for certain to be true. And those things I don't believe will change. But when I say that, my understanding and knowledge of them will expand and grow. And so there'll be more information to present on certain topics. And I really wanted to iterate that to you viewers, is that what is being presented now is just a minute amount of information and there is so much more. And um, that's the aim of this, is to practically apply what you learn. It's not just to watch a video and go, oh, that's a nice idea. It's really aimed that do, do it, like experiment for yourself. Uh, you don't have to, that is completely your choice. So if things are not changing or uh, the beauty of that is that you can look at yourself and then figure out why that is and what in you is preventing your growth and your development. Some of the content in these presentations, you may have uh, reactions to them where you feel angry or judgmental or think that I'm like saying things that are unfair or you, whatever feelings you have. I really encourage you to feel those feelings. Uh, I am on a video talking to you, so you can stop me and uh, literally pause me and go away and feel about what you, what you, uh, why you feel the way you do. And that is a very beneficial exercise to do. And I encourage you to, instead of just dismissing or trying to justify, you know, how right you are, to have an open mind and just think about those things have your feelings. It's really important. And remember I said just a few minutes ago that this is about resensitizing to how you feel. So when an emotion is exposed and you say you feel really angry about something that you hear, then go and allow yourself to feel it because anger is so it's an indicator that there's other emotions underneath. And so it's well worth your investigation and exploration to actually find out what is going on for you and why are you having this reaction? So this is an opportunity to do that. And I wanted to say that in housekeeping and introduction because it's really important to not let your feelings just slide by or to ignore them. They are trying to give you information. They are a feedback system so you can learn more about yourself. There's a whole heap of other things to learn on, but um, to learn about in this universe. So many things, infinite amount of things actually.
this particular series of presentations is very much about you getting to know you. And getting to know you is not just about, oh, I'm like this, I'm like that, and thinking about it, it's actually feeling. So some of the purpose and aims of this resource is how to become a loving individual and how to make personal progressive change. If you become a loving individual, then you're going to be a loving parent as well. And so really, if you want to love and you have a passionate desire to love, love is not exclusive. Love is inclusive. So once you actually have a desire to love, you end up loving everything. And so if you have a passionate desire, for instance, to love God and a passionate desire to love people and a passionate desire to be humble or to feel all of your emotions and be soft to whatever you feel, in your feelings, then those three things are some key things that will help you in every other area of your life. But if you choose to love and you genuinely are loving, it's not selective. It's love is, you either love or you don't love. And that's the beauty of knowing that, is that you can go, oh, I don't want to love here. Okay, why? And you can investigate. Or you can go, I don't want to love. And then you can investigate. The aim of resource is to be practical and applicable to all people. So talk a lot about principles and principles are a way that if you understand a principle in your heart, uh, that means that you can apply it to any situation. So you won't be floundering around in the dark looking for different things to happen in different situations. It's like a principle can be applied to a behavioral issue or a relationship issue or a work issue or a business issue. And I briefly mentioned at the beginning of this that this resource is for anybody. So though I'm directing the examples and the material towards parents and families, because I feel like if the family unit changes, then there's a lot of things in society that can change really well. And so I quite like the idea of working with families because then if a family dynamic changes, then that means that they, the onflow effect will be that there'll be changes in those children and those adults, which will onflow into education and into society and into the workplace environment. But you can apply this if you're a, you know, in a business, if you're an employee, if you're an employer, you can apply the same principles, the same dynamics to whatever you're doing. So the beauty of God's truth is that it's universal truth. It applies to everybody. So this resource applies to everybody if you wish to engage it. What I love about God's truth is that it works. It's practical. It's simple. It, it's the simplest way to make change in your life. And it also brings great joy and happiness if you do apply it. And this is something that I love about it. It's not, it's not all intellectual. It's a lot about feelings, which means that kids can also apply it very, very easily. And there's, a, there's just so many positive benefits. There's greater happiness, more fulfillment, more connected relationships you begin to discover what your passions and your desires are and what you love doing. So then your life gets better because you enjoy your life. The aim of the unit is to focus on families and family dynamics. If you can make change uh, in a family, particularly having love in a family, then the next generation, there is a possibility within a number of generations for complete society and then complete world change. Because if the family dynamic changes, then there's a generation of children who grow up with a completely new and different belief system. And if everybody had the desire to love and everybody had the desire to feel their emotions, that would be a very, very different planet that we live on. There'd be a lot less selfishness and a lot less environmental destruction and a lot less um, pain in relationships. And there'd be a lot of things that would be different. Yeah, I feel like families, I've just seen how powerful the change is within our, um, my own family. And I'm watching the positive results in the children's lives as well. And that is wonderful. They're, they're going to need to make their own decisions now and make their own choices. But I can already see how effective God's truth is and making my personal change in myself so that I can actually uphold love in our home environment and in our family and the positive effects that this has had. And so I feel like this is practical, applicable, doable. I know it works because I've done it. The application to your own life is going to be what is powerful. Uh, hearing about things that someone else has done can be very inspiring, but in the end, are you going to have a heartfelt aspiration to grow these things and develop these qualities and skills and desires in yourself? Because that's where real change is going to happen. 
and where you'll become a lot happier in your own personal life and your relationships. This is a process of personal change. I've specifically used personal. This is not about changing the children or changing your partner. They have to do that themselves. You cannot change anybody else. You can have a positive influence on others, but you cannot change somebody. So right now, if you're thinking, oh, great, this would be great for my, uh, my husband, or fantastic, this would be so good for my wife, or I've got to tell the kids about this, uh, I suggest that already you're out of harmony with love and that you need to look at yourself first because this is about positive personal change. That means it's about you. And that's very, very important to, to look at all the areas where you want to change others or you want others to change. And there's some good feedback and information that you can actually learn about yourself, which you just beware that you may very well have a tendency to want to give the resource to somebody else in order that you don't have to do anything and you think that it's going to be better for you. No, this is about you changing and it's about a personal discovery and about a personal application of these things to your own life. So in summary, giving you an outline of the unit, which is about uh, making personal progression and the basics of personal change, and it's going to be a practical application of those things into your everyday life. We have just covered some of the aims of the resource and some of the benefits. And also we've looked at just the resource structure. Have an aim to really engage this resource and what is discussed and apply it to your life. It do experiments. I will talk about experiments a lot and I mean it. Like it's so good to actually experiment with what you hear. If you don't practically apply it, there's no possibility for change. So, and if there's no possibility for change, then no change is going to happen. And that's, you'll, you'll learn, oh, no change has happened because I didn't do anything. But it does take um, effort and action. And if you don't act and you don't put in the effort, no change will happen. And that's a choice that you will need to make. The material in these presentations or any theory can only be beneficial if it's practically applied and you have an experience of it. Uh, though you may think that you get it in your head, in my experience, that is not true. If you get it in your head or you understand it intellectually, you do not understand it. And it's an important thing to just note and to remember as you go through and go, oh, I get that, I know that. The thing is, is that we're looking through filters in ourselves and we're always trying to make connections and go, oh, that's familiar to me, that's familiar to me. What I have found is the feeling and the practical application of this for myself, what I used to think that I understood, it's like every year I'm like, oh my goodness, I didn't even understand that. I didn't get that. Oh my goodness, I get it now. And I have this feeling now that I just really don't know anything and that I'm going to know more, but I will be next year going, oh my goodness, I didn't understand that. So uh, Jesus and Mary present all this wonderful truth from um, God. And it's, it's God's truth, so they sort of are like the messengers of that truth. And there's sometimes that I'm sitting there and I know I've been going, oh, yeah, that's excellent. I love that idea. Yeah, no, I think I get it. And then honestly, it's been sometimes five years or sometimes even 10 years later, or even now I like look back and I go, I really didn't understand that. I didn't get it. And you can't get something unless it's in your heart and soul. So that's why I just keep saying to you, gauge this resource with your heart, make it practical, apply it every day, you know, make it part of your life. And if you do that, then there will be positive changes in your life. But if you don't do it, there won't be any changes. Um, that's a, one of the lovely feedback systems is if there's no change happening, then you made no change. And so you know that. And that's a good thing to know. As I mentioned, but I would like to leave you with this, is that the only real change is soul-based emotional change. Now, you might go, what does that mean? Well, by the end of these um, presentations and the end of this unit, you will have at least a theoretical understanding of what that means and how to begin a process to actually do that and make it a real thing in your life for you. Um, there are so many wonderful benefits for yourself individually, but love benefits everyone. So once you start making loving change in yourself, if you sincerely do it, you will see actually changes and other people will also respond in a completely different way than they may ever have responded to in your life. And that's the beauty and the strength and the loveliness of this material, the divine truth material, 
is that it's practical, it's applicable, it works, and it's simple. As I said, not always feels easy, but it is very simple to understand. To me, that really sings to my heart. <laughs> I love it. I really hope that you enjoy these presentations. Um, if you don't, no worries, feel about that. The next presentation is session one, and that is called Snapshot and Self-Reflection. See you then.